very interesting changes coming to Fedora. The Fedora workstation is switching its default desktop environment to KDE Plasma. Starting with Fedora Linux 42, KDE Plasma will offer a stable, highly customizable desktop with advanced Wayland support. How's it doing that? Well, it all started with a proposed change to Fedora Linux, which was to switch the default desktop experience for the workstation to KDE Plasma. The GNOME desktop has moved in a separate spin addition and will retain release blocking status. The GNOME desktop is moved to a separate spin or addition and it retains release blocking status. So the current status and last update was 11.01.2024. And the description here is the argument on why to move to KDE Plasma, including things like improved end user experience, standardization support, Wayland support, industry support, community support, and feedback from the community, which all brought in reasons to discuss whether or not it actually made sense to go over to KDE Plasma as a default desktop for the Fedora workstation, Anyways, the exciting part here is this was just the proposed change that was made, which led into the next portion, which is not only a discussion, but the start of a new working group. The Fedora Personal Systems Working Group is an issue tracker for the Fedora Personal Systems, which is an umbrella organization containing special interest groups. Currently, it contains Fedora KDE SIG, which is a group of Fedora contributors that maintain KDE packages in Fedora, as well as the Fedora KDE Spin, Fedora Kinonite, and KDE packages in the EPEL. It also contains Fedora Acai SIG, which is a group of Fedora contributors that maintain Fedora Acai Remix. What came out of all of this is the Fedora KDE Special Interest Group, which its mission is to create a group of Fedora contributors that maintain KDE packages in Fedora, as well as KDE Spin and Fedora Kinonite. Their mission is to provide a high quality usable KDE software packages to Fedora users and developers and support one another in the maintaining of those packages. Through this special interest group, that was created, we finally have something very important. Two days ago, the request to upgrade Fedora KDE desktop spin to addition status under the personal systems work group has been closed and approved. Don't let the red fool you. This, as discussed at Flock, Flock is the Fedora project conference where proposals were discussed and talked about the Fedora KDE SIG and newly forming Fedora personal systems working group that will oversee the SIG are requesting that Fedora KDE Plasma Desktop Spin be upgraded edition status for Fedora Linux 42. This includes the following, listing Fedora KDE Plasma Desktop edition at the same level as Fedora Workstation Edition on the fedoraproject.org website, production of the flagship site page for Fedora KDE similar to Fedora Workstation on the fedoraproject.org website and marketing support similar to the vein of Workstation at events. And finally, the Fedora KDE SIG will withdraw its change for Fedora Linux 42 to replace GNOME with KDE Plasma on Workstation with the acceptance of this request. So the proposed change seem seemingly was to actually make Fedora Workstation defaulted to KDE Plasma Desktop. But from what I understand there, we are not necessarily changing out Fedora Workstation. Instead, we're introducing another addition where you can use KDE Plasma. Now, it's kind of in the gray still, but either way, there are big changes happening to Fedora, especially with how they're going to promote the varying different desktops. It had said in that post that the plan here is to revamp things in order to offer more additions. So when we hit get Fedora, we have the workstation edition. And of course it says the latest GNOME desktop. So will we be seeing a separate edition here under workstation or will it be a completely different edition located in this menu, it's unclear yet, but we do know that this spin is going to be moved up to additions and perhaps GNOME might be moved to spins. This is a big deal as the Fedora workstation has used GNOME for quite a few years and this is a pretty big change. It's interesting how GNOME here will continue as a separate Fedora edition, but it seems like Fedora is aligning themselves to modern industry trends, trying to improve support for modern users and community needs We'll see what happens and if the default completely becomes KDE or they step back after a little bit and realize that that's not the best plan going forward. Either way, I am ready to see what happens with this. Make sure to subscribe below, hit that notification bell for more Linux and programming videos. Catch me in a great community on Discord. Don't forget to like and I'll catch you in another video.
Thanks for watching. Linux can be hard to understand, but I take the most commonly used terms, commands, and subjects in Linux and I break them down into simple to read documents, including Linux terms, flashcards, a checklist, a cheat sheet, and a mind map. And if you're ready to level up your Linux experience and knowledge, go to learn.savvynick.com now and get access to these sheets.